Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to One Year 365. And today is part 3 of the Continent mini series. And today we'll talk about the next continent, which is Antarctica. This is actually interesting because, um, for the simple reason that uh, Antarctica is pretty much the south pole of the earth, meaning that it's extremely cold there. And I feel like it's really inhabitable for people. So, um, yeah, by that itself, I feel like Antarctica will most definitely the, uh, what is it, the, the lowest population, pretty much. Meaning that, um, meaning that it's gonna be, uh, what is it called again? Meaning that it's gonna be, yeah, like, uh, it's pretty much there's no people there. We'll see how much. Uh, how many people actually lived in the um, in the Antarctica pretty much and then we also will uh, ask the question like um, what is the um, uh, what is it area as well and then I guess the density of people there uh, yeah the population density I feel like it's gonna be um, extremely small meaning that you can only find very few people in very big radius of uh what is it distance which is yeah it's probably the most terrifying one like if you get lost um in antarctica then uh, most likely you will ne never gonna see, you know you will never see other human as well which is kind of not funny but it's terrifying but it's you know like a mind-blowing fact as well we'll see about that uh, anyway, we can start. Uh, Antarctica, okay, uh, is Earth's southernmost and least populated continent. Yeah, like I said, uh, situated almost entirely south of the Antarctic uh, Circle and surrounded by the Southern Ocean. It contains the geographic South Pole. Yeah, South Pole, uh, like I said as well. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent being about 40% larger than Europe, okay, and has an area of 14.2 million, okay, so, uh, and also 5.5 .5 million uh, square miles. Uh, I think previously it's about 4 million square miles, and then uh, I think it was 8.6, I believe, 8.6 million kilometers square, so yeah. Uh, most of Antarctica is covered by the Antarctic ice sheet uh, with an average thickness of 1.9 km. Uh, that's actually very deep. Uh, 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, that's actually quite far. Like, um, I can think about distance from my house to a certain location and it's pretty much the same distance that you need to dig uh, from the top of the surface until you can actually reach down to the actual surface of the land and you know there you will finally found soil which is again it's kind of terrifying as well meaning that you just stand on top of frozen snow or frozen ice like yeah it's just you know like um interesting and then who knows what's inside those two kilometers thickness of uh, ice sheet like it can probably be like cave you know like ice cave you know that can happen and then I don't know like maybe underground water as well like frozen underground water body I don't know but it seems kind of horrifying on its own because yeah two kilometers deep of snow I guess or ice sheet that's that's no joke that's like yeah there there can be some more stuff buried down there um, like who knows maybe there's like uh, ancient fossil that got uh, frozen down there which is kind of interesting as well because ice is just natural preservation meaning that if something decays there uh, I mean if something died there or dies there they're not gonna decay that quickly because it's cold you know the bacteria the, the movement of bacteria is quite slow and then there is the the animals that's supposed to degrade that also you know didn't exist because of the cold um, weather so yeah that's actually quite interesting meaning that if you dig up every single ice in the uh, antarctica i feel like there will be some kind of fossil that is actually still um in 
you know meat and bones which is kind of you know creepy like scary as well um so yeah also this one over here antarctica it's literally at the south pole um yeah like you can see the circle over here the i think that's the, like the uh what is it called again polar i don't know like uh yeah, like the circle in which polar night can occur, but yeah, we already talked about that actually in December about uh, winter where there is this region, like the polar region, uh, like there's the circle region, anything inside the circle, they will um, experience like a weird phenomena about day and night cycle, so yeah, that's what it's called as polar night and polar day, so there's that. Uh, anyway, population is a <laughs> thousand to five thousand, and that's also seasonal. That's like I said, um, Australia is forty million, and then this is like a thousand. So forty million is pretty much forty thousand thousand, meaning that this is we'll see we'll say uh, about a thousand, meaning that it's forty thousand times less than Australia. So if Australia is about. Uh, you know what is it like uh, 20 times lower like i think we already did the math previously i think australia is about 0.5 percent of the world's population and you know for antarctica you divide that 0.5 by 40,000, uh and you got the number so what is it uh 0.5 divided by 40 uh that's one eighth meaning that yeah one in eight hundred thousand that's like uh 1.25 to the power of uh 1.25 times 10 to the power of minus uh my math i think it's six yeah uh yeah this is that uh percent also by the way <laughs> don't forget the percent so yeah um that's like literally that's yeah what can you expect for stuff that literally in the south pole uh, you you probably won't see anyone there and yeah because of that as well as you can see the population density is less than 0.01 per kilometer square or uh, in this case less than 0.03 per square miles meaning that uh, yeah like I said like if you got stranded then you will never see any human ever again because it's just too far uh, meaning that you need 100 kilometers square until you find the next person and you know that's you probably won't survive 100 kilometers square of worth of travel uh, on yourself but yeah there's that um although it's also kind of interesting like where do these a thousand people live like do they live together do they live separately do they live in some kind of igloo like in you know like in uh, stories or movies or they have actual building like house building you know and then what job they do there uh, or is it just because of you know scientists like scientists doing stuff there also like geologists as well maybe they uh, search or learn for the uh, continent and then they just stay there with their family maybe that's that and then you know the supplies got delivered uh, by the um, foundation or company they are working with probably i'm not sure but I feel like that's just that. Uh, also, as you can see, demonym is Antarctic. Uh, internet TLD is dot AQ. Uh, I don't know why the Q Antarctica. I don't know why it's not AC or AN or AT or AR. Uh, why is it AQ? I guess the other one that I mentioned is probably already been uh, taken by someone by not someone by some country. So yeah, maybe AQ is more like it. Um, or maybe AQ is aqua, which is the, you know, the meaning of water, so, yeah, I guess, that makes sense as well, I guess, because ice, you know, ice is water, yeah, that's a little bit of rich, uh, anyway, large settlements is in McMurdo station and other research station, oh, yeah, see, uh, that's just a research, pretty much, station for research, so, people are just researching there, and maybe, you know, like, a you know if you're a man then you work for the research and then you have your uh wife and your kids maybe like uh or maybe your husband as well i don't know but i mean it's 2022 anyway so yeah um you know like pretty much like they all live there so you know that you're i guess you can make it you know like 
close to you as well or you know like it's probably seasonal as well like you work for let's say six months and then you spend the other six months uh, in the mainland like I don't know let's say Australia or um, South America or America or Europe or Asia whatever but yeah uh, anyway there's that and then we have Antarctica is on average the coldest driest and windiest of the continents that's extreme on so many levels okay coldest is just bad because yeah I like cool stuff don't get me wrong I like cool air I like cool breeze I like cool snow you know like cool breezy weather yes but if it's cold, frozen cold, then yeah, like I don't think anyone likes that. Uh, and then driest, it's also interesting because for area that is surrounded by ice sheet and snowy every day, it's still dry, like dry cold air. That's like probably one of the worst as well. You know, like the, the wind probably can cut your skin if you think about it because it's so dry that you know um yeah like the snow becomes a little bit too sharp and then it actually can cut your skin which is you know creepy uh and terrifying and then windy is as well <laughs> yeah on top of that like you know it's like blizzard it was like yeah like a dry cold snow got drifted by wind strong wind and yeah it just cuts everything pretty much uh, and it has the highest average elevation interesting well yeah i guess it's basically of the ice sheet, uh, I think, but yeah, it is mainly a polar desert with annual precipitation of over 200 millimeters or 8 inches along the coast and far less inland. About 70% of the world's freshwater reserves are frozen in Antarctica, which, if melted, would raise global sea levels by almost 60 meters, 200 feet. That is actually quite uh, terrifying as well. Um, Meaning that, yeah, everything will be raised to 60 meters. Um, like, anything below 60 meters above seawater will be submerged. And, you know, that's actually a lot of region. Uh, I probably should take a look about that as well. Like, uh, what's gonna be impacted if, you know, the, the water uh, level is increased by 10 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters, like which area will be submerged and will which area will be the last thing or you know the probably impossible to get some birds i think i already know it will be like pretty much that uh, mount everest it's probably gonna be the actual last thing that will be get submerged by water i don't think that's also possible actually because it's quite too high that it will need a lot amount of water just to fill up the entire thing um, so yeah, there's that. I don't think it, it will work like that anyway. So yeah. Um, what else here? Uh, do we have anything else? Uh, okay, we already talked about 15 minutes. I will do another 5 minutes and we'll see. Uh, yeah, this one 60 meters. Antarctica holds the record for the lowest measured temperature on Earth, which is minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. That is... That is quite some number there, it's super cold, okay. Uh, oh yeah, in fact, like, I feel like those um, volatile, <laughs> volatile gas probably got frozen there as well, if you think about it, so yeah. Or turned to liquid, actually, uh, which is, you know, like, a, it's that bad, yeah. Uh, the coastal regions can reach temperatures over 10 degrees Celsius, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit in summer, summer imagine you have summer at 50 degrees fahrenheit it's 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 a cold summer which is you know like a, a little bit terrifying as well um native species of animals include mites nematodes penguins seals and tardigrades okay uh yeah that's like pretty much the base uh, animals that live in uh cold area and also animals that you know pretty much do not give uh, a crap about where they are living like I would say like mites, nematodes, uh, tardigrades I feel like they can live anywhere so yeah um, I guess if you think about it there's also anywhere else meaning that yeah it's not really big of deal but penguins and seals uh, probably also polar bear maybe I feel like that could be something as well 
um, that can live there as well. What about the whale as well, like the ice whale? I feel like there, there's some offer there as well, you know, like maybe they are hibernating. I'm not sure, uh, yeah. Where vegetation occurs, it is mostly in the form of lichen or moss. Oh, that's actually sad, meaning there is not really actual tree. Uh, I kind of understand as well because, yeah, the, the tree will require minerals from the soil. And the keyword, yes, is soil, meaning that, yeah, meaning that the, the tree will need the root to extend, you know, to pretty much break through the two kilometers layer or, you know, depth of um, ice sheet, meaning that they need to break through all those ice until they reach soil and then they can, you know, start absorbing the soil uh, which is again they also still need sunlight as well which i guess you can kind of regenerate that uh, using any lamp but yeah still though um, also still too cold as well i don't know but yeah it's kind of uh, interesting but uh, i think one of the most interesting one is like this because you know that down there there is soil there is ground down there uh, meaning that there might actually be tree down there, like down in the beneath the ice sheet, uh, close to the ground surface. Maybe there's tree there, and who knows? Maybe like that tree, those trees actually growing inside, and will you know some when uh, sometime in the future will pop up. Um, you know, like it's most likely, but it can still happen though if you think about it. Uh, maybe they got the energy, the heat from the geothermal maybe i'm not sure if even there is any down there in the um you know like south pole i'm not sure but i feel like there there still be there but yeah uh, maybe those three will grow eventually you know like making it the largest tree like two kilometers high um which is you know kind of insane i would say but uh, it can happen though it can happen um well it can it though i mean it it might it might happen uh, can it i'm not sure i'm not master on you know biology and stuff like that so yeah go ask your friend but anyway i think that'll be it though geography it's just ice don't think there's um many or much to see uh there's picture here which is not loading because of you know like it's regular then it's just internet moment which is yeah, it's just that bad, honestly, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind with that, it's just how it is, uh, and yeah. Uh, what else here that we can see, there's no picture at all, it's not loading, uh, I probably should have done this, I probably should have loaded the page first, before I actually, you know, like, uh, see or discuss about that. Okay, we have this, Vincent Massive from the Northwest, the highest peak in Antarctica. <laughs> okay uh is this like a mound or is this like a rock you know like uh this is your foot you can um step on this or you just that tiny speck and then this is actually mountain i'm not sure uh okay let's go back up maybe we see something oh it's just a map of uh okay um uh, it's just a earth map for that antarctic peninsula oh this is actually interesting over here uh okay uh yeah oh apparently it's marked with location i actually just know that yeah like this one like there's usa tag over there there's uk tag over there so it so people can actually claim region there which is interesting i just know that okay uh all right whatever well if that's the case, I hope they don't actually do anything stupid with the area, like, you know, conducting missile bomb, you know, like, uh, uh, unironically melting stuff because of, you know, using excessive amount of explosives or fire, and then it literally melts, you know, uh, which makes it awful. But, yeah, I hope that actually does not happen. Uh, you know, like, again, like, what kind of research are they doing there, you know, if you think about it? um like quote unquote research or just actual scientific research or you know like a weapon research that can also be a thing but again i'm not expert on that 
I'm not gonna discuss about that as well, but you know, hey, my thoughts are there. I asked that. I wondered pretty much, and that's pretty much it. Uh, what else? Ozone depletion. Yeah, honestly, I don't really care though. Uh, yeah, uh, because not because I don't care necessarily, because I. I know, uh, I think I have read this somewhere, that the ozone layer can actually repair itself um, by certain mechanics, I think like, yeah, by certain reaction, I mean, like there is a way to actually, the ozone will replenish itself, so, you know, not really, um, again, I don't know about that, I still need to learn more. Uh, anyway, glaciers, floating ice, yeah, I guess it's fine, I don't know what this dark area is. Uh, kind of look creepy, kind of look like void actually, but alright. Uh, oh, actually there's more picture. Oh, not picture, it's a graph, okay. Biodiversity, we already talked about that. Uh, population, uh, okay, the ceremonial South Pole at Amundsen Scott Station, okay. Yeah, I think we already know, like a thousand people, right? So, yeah. The population of the island varied from over a thousand, yeah. We can just say a thousand. Or 5,000, but whatever. Uh, anyway, the first child born, actually, uh, this is interesting, in the southern polar region was Norwegian girl. Okay, uh, 1913. Oh, that's actually already more than 100 years ago. So, probably, probably the person's already, you know, but I'm not sure as well. Maybe they, they're not. Maybe they're still alive, having 110 years. Who knows, but yeah. Uh, was the first person born south of the 60th parallel south and the first to be born on the Antarctic mainland? Okay, um, don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, the Antarctic Treaty prohibits any military activity in Antarctica. Okay, I mean, yeah, that answers my question, but do they really obey that? Like, what about they are working in secret, you know, uh, but whatever. And in the establishments of military bases and fortifications, military maneuvers, and weapons testing. Uh, yeah, because that will be bad for the iceberg. Like, you know, what's gonna happen if the ice melts? What happen if the ice, like, literally collapsed? Can you be responsible for that? Can you fix that? No. So, you know, it's better to do not do anything about this stupid thing, I would say. Um, yeah, I call that stupid thing, uh, unfortunately, because I feel like that's not really important you know like um i feel like that's unnecessary i would say but anyway that's just again me coming from me having no background about that as well but whatever uh human activity uh it's already been 25 okay i'm just gonna closing with this one cruise ship silver cloud in wilhelm uh mina bay uh, deposits coal hydrocarbons iron ore yeah it's just for sources i would say uh uh, yeah, oh, it's actually, okay, deposit, oh, it's just, it's different thing, okay, uh, okay, so there's actually gold, platinum, copper, which is interesting, but all right, uh, the protocol on environmental protection to the Antarctic Treaty, which came into the effect of 1998, is due to be reviewed 2048, restricts the exploitation of Antarctic resources, including minerals, yes, that's super necessary, because, I I have chemical engineering background. I also took the spe specialization in minerals and doing this though, you know, like um, mining minerals, it takes a lot of resource. Not only that, it destroys. It literally destroys the the thing. The you know, like the thing, the whatever you're mining, like you will cross the earth. You know, like re literally, you will cross the rocks you will carry that somewhere else it's just gonna be a may uh you know a big crater which i feel like that will be bad for the earth question mark uh also there's like chemicals included as well yes apparently mining minerals you will need some chemicals uh that are i guess like basic minerals but the thing is that the waste though the waste can be harmful as well so you know, at least that's the way in its own. Oh. So, yeah, um, I feel like it's great that it should be like that. Um, although it says it will be reviewed, I'm not sure if they will eventually allow that. Hopefully, they won't. But, 
yeah this is coming from my opinion i do have background though this time uh, because i know that mining stuff it's not gonna end great uh it's not you know it's not gonna look great like you know you try to break a glass and then yeah it's broken you cannot fix that anymore it's the same as that it's just gonna pick you know it's gonna uh, make a big you know stuff that got destroyed and yeah it's just bad pretty much anyway this will be it for this one it is part three of the continent mini series and we talk about antarctica so previously we talked about australia and um europe and then we talk about antarctica next time i think we'll actually talk about either africa or south uh, america actually which is you know uh, for tomorrow but until then thank you guys for watching this has been one year 365 discussing about continent miniseries but that's pretty much it until then see ya